This is the hardest thing ever that I ever have gone through in my entire life. And the way I can describe it, it's like being in a coffin. I never, ever, ever would imagine a thing like this. But it's like if I was buried alive in a coffin and nailed all around the coffin where I can't get out, suffocating, still alive, but can't breathe. This is the experience I'm going through in this apartment with these men that's stalking me. My neighbors upstairs, the ones across, also across from Jason to me and downstairs in Mexican. And constantly, they have my whole apartment rigged. They can see me, they torture me, and the torture is like, you know, like, a, like I'm a rag doll and pants for being stuck everywhere on my body like you're sticking me constantly hearing me annoying letting me know that no matter where I am like in the coffin box they're right there they won't let me escape they won't leave me alone and I can't even go feel like I can go to the police because they won't believe me if my family don't believe me, I, I know they won't. And I want to escape. But there's nowhere that I know where I, I can go to escape. This is the hardest thing in my life. They have my telephone rigged. They can listen they, to everything that's going on in my conversation. And they have my body connected to my telephone. And they also have the air conditioning and the alarm systems in my house. is censored to my every movement. This is sick and sickening. Very sick and sickening. It's depression. Total depression. And I keep praying to God and asking God to help me constantly, day and night. Because he's the only one that knows outside of what these men are doing. He, he knows what's going on. And I don't understand why. I have recorded many different events that I cannot express or share with anyone. But I have recorded it on notepads, on my telephone. I have years and years of experience with this, and I don't see no escape. But I'm tired, and I know that I, I understand as when the Lord Jesus went through this, being harassed, being tortured, being abused. He couldn't find no place to rest his head. He couldn't find no place to have peace in mind other than talking to the Father, talking to his Heavenly Father. And he went through it all without harming anyone. And I know this is like what he ask of me is to not become violent or not do anything harmful to myself and that's the example that he made he didn't do anything harmful to himself or to anyone else and I do understand now the love because if I had not experienced evil and wickedness such as this I would have nothing to compare love to. Now I know the extreme love that God has taught us the way to be and the way His Son Jesus exemplified His love towards mankind. 
I would have no way of measuring what love is compared to all this evil that my neighbors, wickedness that they're doing to me, my body, this apartment. And they're very treacherous, very treacherous. And I asked the Lord if he would just send me an angel, send me someone with authority and power to take out these people so they won't continue to harm me anymore and I can have peace and rest. Because I know what they're doing, they're doing it to others as well. But I know I'm, I may not get this message out to anyone. And I know that probably no one ever would probably hear it other than those right now who I'm being victimized by. But Lord knows I want him to stop them. I ask for nothing more. Well, I'm hoping that maybe I can take this message and pass it around to my email or text it to somebody as collateral that I have been reaching out for help. And this is one way is to reach out by recording my experience and hopefully that someone in my family or a friend or, or the police or FBI or whoever it could help resolve what has happened to me and what is happening to me because ultimately they are murderers. They are really literally murderers. And I know that's what they're gonna do to me. Torturing me first like I'm a rag doll. I'm some kind of they treat me worse than any animal that's that's living today. Any animal. with no rest and I, and I don't know why I don't know why <sighs> but the Lord knows